Gesture is an area of figure drawing that is often poorly defined. When we start out with figure drawing, one of the first things we are told to look out for is the gesture of our poses. The problem is we are not often given a proper definition of what gesture is and what exactly it is we are meant to be looking for. This is because it's somewhat open to interpretation. Even if gesture is called something else like the action or the expression or the energy, this rarely helps to clear things up. In the end, it ends up being a bit like trying to describe what air looks like. So, what can we do to apply a more tangible meaning to gesture? Well, let's look at a couple of spheres to help us. What we're going to notice with these spheres is that there's an implied directional movement they make as a group together. So, we can define gesture as an implied direction, connection, or relationship that moves between a series of forms. So that gives us a starting point, but we can take things one step further. What we'll notice with these spheres is that together, they imply a long curved axis line. Any asymmetrical form or asymmetrical position of a form is going to have both a long and short axis line. We want to use this long axis line as our starting point for drawing gesture. So if we evolve our definition a little more, we can say gesture is the longest curved axis line available to us, or in even simpler terms, the longest curves of the figure. The beauty of this being our definitive starting point for gesture is that it not only captures the action of the pose, but we can use these foundations to build the rest of the forms of our figure on top. Looking to learn a little more about gesture and figure drawing? Then check out the JW Learning channel on Skillshare for beginners. Start learning today by signing up with the link below to get a free trial. Let's get drawing.